Company develops bread with white crust in order to decrease food waste. This is brilliant. The number of things that my brain will not let me eat because of their texture or their color or something like that. And it's, it's really annoying being a picky eater. And some of the stuff like I will gag on. I can't eat broccoli. I, I just, I will, no. But, but foods that are just slightly different textures and stuff like that, I'm sure would lead to a lot less food waste. I made my classmates elect somebody that wasn't even a candidate as our class representative. So basically, we were electing our class representatives. I'm in 11th grade, and we only had one candidate. However, it was a class clown, and only a few of us wanted him to be elected. So we decided to choose another classmate who wanted to be a representative, but was too shy to be a candidate, and we told our friends to vote for him. We thought he would get about 25% of the votes, but he got more than 80%. Apparently, almost everyone in the class except him knew about what was what we were trying to do. The look on the class clown's face when he realized that he was going to lose the election was priceless. Sorry if my English is bad, by the way. Your English was great. I made more mistakes just reading that than you did writing it. Well done. I used the parental controls on my grandparents' TV so they can't watch Fox News anymore. Ah, thank you. We don't need fear-mongering news network making all of our grandparents angry, bitter people. Starring art is my passion. <laughs> I like it. I approve. Haryana's... Gurugram residents, sorry, hold authorities at gunpoint and made them construct roads overnight. Uh, 30 arrested. Uh, accidents were allegedly witnessed on that patch of broken road. Is that how y'all get potholes fixed? Now I know. 15 years ago, five friends and I drunkenly painted a crosswalk on Dangerous Street in our college town. Shockingly, people actually used it and the city installed a legitimate crosswalk there soon after. Now it's in a national publication. The case of the gorilla crosswalks. Some places really need this. I don't drive because I can't vision. So I go everywhere with bikes and scooters and, and I walk and uh, yeah. Cars do not care about anybody else's safety. Delhi men become robbers, steal dozens of cars to pay for their friend's expensive cancer treatment. Entire gang busted. 50 plus luxury cars components found later in ICU with chemo. They should have let them all go. At least once a month, I randomly remember that Dr. Phil once invited the creator of the bum fights video. D did I did I block that out of memory? Series uh, on his show to confront him about exploiting vulnerable people for financial gain, only for him to show up dressed up as Dr. Phil and point out he does the same exact thing. Oh, is that where this comes from? <laughs> He looks so uncomfortable. <laughs> not, not the guy, Dr. Phil, like the real one. I love that. Turkish photographer beats up client after learning bride is 15 years old. Well done. Yeah, you put a film cage on a Canon R6 or a Sony a7 III and, and a 400 to 600 millimeter lens and th that that's a felony weapon. I worked at McDonald's for two and a half years, and I put 11 nuggets in almost every 10 piece I made. The hero we all need right now. Be the 11th nugget in somebody's 10 piece. People think I wear throngs for some weird fretish, but in fact, I do it because they use less fabrics, therefore less CO2 emissions at manufacturers. <laughs> To, to be clear, you don't need an excuse to wear one. I'm glad you're doing it for supposedly the right reasons, but but you also didn't need an excuse in the first place. Time to walk the plank. Sure, where's his leash? Ah, good one. You're our first mate now. A video is going viral on the internet of a thief being interrogated at a police station in Kharings... Derg. I'm sorry, that was just far too many consonants to be legal. In the hilarious clip, the thief confessed that he stole R's 10,000, oh, this must be a currency, uh, 10,000 of these, and when Derg superintendent of police, Dr. That Palava, asked him what he did with the money, he claimed that he has spent all the money feeding strays and cattle. The thief also shared that he had distributed blankets among the poor. Good! <laughs> was his first name Robin. In 2015, a Manchester man started graffitiing giant paninis uh, onto bottles so that he could, the council would clear them up faster. He was nicknamed Wanksy. <laughs> I remember the picture from the last chaotic good. 
but I, I didn't know there was more of a story. Legend. Charles Pretty Boy Floyd, a Great Depression era gangster and notorious bank robber, endeared himself to the public by destroying mortgage papers at the banks he robbed, freeing many from their debts. That's beautiful. <laughs> Came out of my dad's printer at work today. Hi. If you're reading this message, it's highly likely that your printer is exposed to the public internet via port forwarding. <gasps> Somebody after my own heart. Oh my God. That mean, this means that anyone on the internet uh, with some technical knowledge can send print jobs to your printer or worse, try to exploit it and use it as part of a global botnet. Yes. If you didn't intend for this, Please look into disabling UPnP, Universal Plug and Play, on your router, or remove the port forwarding rule for the port 9100. A friendly cat girl hacker. This was not me. This, uh, this wasn't me. This wasn't me, I swear. But this is a very common problem, and I'm very, <laughs> this is the most wholesome way to do it, because you can just do a port scan of the internet and look for open port 9100s and just send a print job. Use a bunch of commonly used drivers and just yeet it into the port and see what happens. You won't get a response back, but... In 2018, a Russian hacker broke into 100,000 people's routers, but with good intentions. He didn't do any fraud, but only changed their settings so they don't get hacked in the future by others. Professionals have standards. I love this. I love this so much. You could genuinely script this, especially for some of the older routers that have uh, really widely known exploits and their manufacturers aren't updating them anymore. I'm not going to do a full explanation here, but but uh, this is this is good. Update your routers. Make sure the admin password is not password or admin. And yeah, internet safely. Cards Against Humanity is donating 100% of their profits to the National Network of Abortion Funds if the order comes from a state restricting abortion access. If someone selects, I didn't agree to this, an additional $5 donation is added to their car. <laughs> Frack, you live in Texas. Theocratic hellscape where human beings are forced to carry unwanted pregnancies by threat of imprisonment. We're donating 100% of our profits from your order to the National Network of Abortion Funds. You wonderful legends. Okay. Get five dollars more. We'll match it. I assume that's I didn't agree to this, and uh, that goes to so. You don't want us using your money to pay for abortions? You know, sometimes people have values imposed upon them by bigger, more powerful entities, and they're forced to do things they don't want to do, like carry an unwanted pregnancy. For example, we just added an extra five dollar donation to the National Network of Abortion Funds to your cart. Okay. Ah, uh, more companies need to be this snarky. Bunch of these states out here getting way too big for their britches. The least people do can give them the hell they deserve. My neighbors are too low income to afford a Wi-Fi connection and too, pr too proud to use mine. So I renamed mine Free Council Wi-Fi and told them I have read about it and what the password was. My neighbor is now halfway through an online college qualification and I'm so proud of her. Good job. I'm glad affordable internet is coming at least to more of America because I've never understood how things are now online, even with the government stuff, but they're just like, oh, you need internet. Oh, well, I can't afford it. Well, that's not our problem. Well, you want me to fill out this form. This is your problem. Ex-soldier raids animal shelter with assault rifle in full tactical gear to get cat back. Oh, oh my God. He launched a one-man raid on an animal shelter after he believed that his missing cat was being held at the facility. Okay, question one. Did he ask for it first? If he tried to get his cat back and they were like, no, you can't have your cat. Like I've heard of ones like taking dogs out of people's yard. Yeah, no, this is full. This is fully warranted. If he just found out through word of mouth that his cat was there and just like went commando. I, I personally applaud it, but I can see how people could have issue with it. How, yeah, you steal somebody's cat. You steal anybody's pet. You best make right with whatever deity you pray to. I was sick of seeing so many people swimming in the river at Yellowstone with clear no swimming signs. So I shouted from the bridge that there was flesh eating bacteria in the water and everyone ran out. If, if that's what people need to hear to, to follow the rules, that's what people need to hear. Raw video. Today, armed activists with the group Don't Comply held their annual Feed the Need event where they gave homeless people food, winter clothes, and blankets a crime in Dallas. Oh, I've heard of these people. They are my heroes. Their group was armed to deter cops with one young participant even open carrying swords. <laughs> There's always the weeb. 
sorry. I'm sorry. It's just Milla, Texas. Everyone's got assault rifles. There's that one kid with swords. But yeah, no, this is this is excellent. Just meet them on their level. I suppose if people thought about real issues and needs instead of manufactured desires, the economy would collapse and we'd have total anarchy. Maybe, maybe not, maybe. Don't let the world fool you. Consistent kindness is the most quietly powerful thing. If you ever want to engage in villainy and undermine the social order, be especially kind to the people society has rejected. Care about the ones the world would convince you don't deserve your kindness. I genuinely mean this when I say to you, the ultimate act of rebellion is, is, is insisting on compassion and grace in a compassionless world. Disruptive compassion. Rig blogging because I have a lot of feelings about this and because I believe very strongly in that the most punk rock and bad arse thing you can do is to live your life with aggressive empathy and kindness. I agree to a certain extent, but I'm also in the eye for the eye crowd. Compassion bundled with proportionate response. I am thoroughly confusing DoorDash support. I'm asking them to undo a refund. Chaotic good. Anyone else hate cops? I live in a relatively safe country and most of them don't have to do crap. So I go out of my way to mess with them. Get in my car in the middle of the night looking like pick related. Make sure to not blink for a few minutes so my eyes are watery and red. Play loud, obnoxious rap music in the car. When they pull me over, I make sure to rip a nice steaming fart. So when they bend over my car window, they get hit in the face with my butt juice. Act sleepy and lethargic when they ask me stuff. They test me for alcohol and drugs and basically raid my car every time, always clean. Waste an hour asking me if I have anything and getting pissed off at me. After that, they let me go. Repeat at least once a week. I'm pretty sure the entire police department lo knows me by now because they stopped pulling me over. Next week, I'm going to another town to troll some more lazy cops. I admire your patience. I couldn't do this because I'd smart off to the officer. And while I do, I do think it's good to, you know, target the lazy cops that, you know, profile stuff at a distance. If, if you're actually partaking in stuff, please don't drive. I, I actually were, wish the, uh, the quote unquote punishment for something like that was to just pull the person over, make sure their car is locked and give them a ride home. And then they can come back the next day and pick up their car. No charges or anything. Just, just, just don't do that. Cause I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want you to hurt anybody else. Not really applicable to this situation, but, but, but you're getting a tangent, damn it. Bank robbery suspect threw stolen money and wished everyone Merry Christmas. Witness said. Ch check his fingerprints. Hollywood has taught me that that Santa Claus has snowflake fingerprints. Th this might be Santa Claus. Ransomware group forces victims to pick any five poor children and buy them KFC. It's like if Robin Hood and a chain email from your aunt fell into the machine from the fly. I didn't see the fly, but I assume it's some sort of genetic blender. I would actually message them that be like, can I buy them Subway or could I buy them like a bucket of chicken and like some non-perishables so they'll have food for later? I am an expert in making like really cheap food last a long time. KFC does, does not reheat well. Let's give these kids food for at least a couple days. Sally Hafez pretended to be a bank robber in Lebanon to retrieve her own money and to pay for her sister's surgery. That's amazing. I, I don't know the context because I'm very bad with names. Uh, 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 why couldn't she get her own money? Dude in the background whacked the eyebrow slider all the way up. Naked woman chases Jehovah's Witnesses off of her porch and down the street yelling, succumb to my devil vegetable magic. Wait, is this a mugshot? Why was she charged? Charged for what? This is a public service. I finally even live in an area where these people actually come by. And all I want to do is open the door blasting ghost and like wearing a picture of a cute bunny surrounded by pentagrams. Just be like, oh, hello. Hail Satan. Yosef Mensik, the last knight. He lived in Czechoslovakia until 1945, like a real knight in a castle without electricity or cars. He even attacked German tanks on his horse in full armor during World War II. Good man. Can you imagine the fear that would inspire if you're in a tank and you see just a horse with a guy in full knight armor holding a giant sword running towards you? Because you're in a tank and he's coming at you on a horse. Like, what is he capable of? Louisiana Senator, Senator John Kennedy made an incredibly offensive campaign ad in which he suggests those critical of the police call a crackhead next time uh, they get into trouble. So I registered callacrackhead.com and redirected it to his Washington office phone.
Well done. Reminding people that uh, senators work for us and, you know, stapling some wonderful stuff onto the end of that as well at the same time. Update. Republicans started recruiting plaintiffs for a lawsuit to stop student debt relief. Our response? 130,000 false applications were sent in less than a day. Good work, everyone. Republicans do not understand Gen Z and some of us more mischievous millennials. I will never understand not wanting to make society a better place. Like, if you don't want to make society a better place because it'll cost you, I don't know, like six bucks or something, you know, with your made-up tax magic money, why, why are you part of this society? Like, why are you here? <laughs> Someone was under your car last night trying to steal your catalytic converter. But I shot him with my BB gun <laughs> twice. <gasps> You're welcome. If I were you, I'd get something like the cat strap or some deterrent so it doesn't uh get stolen in the future i didn't even know there were catalytic converter protectors i won't always be there to snipe the bad guys your friendly neighbor ah man i have a bunch of bb guns this is the best use of bb guns i've seen in a while imagine how like freaked out he was too at like two o'clock in the morning being under someone's car and you just feel like a really sharp pain in your arm be like ow what the hell ow probably thought he got bit the first time or something yeah, quiet quitting is great and all, but have you tried chaotic working? Like, I remember back in my grocery store cashier days, I did so much crazy crap. When WIC, Women, Infants, and Children Voucher Program, to help low-income mothers and families with children, people were in my line, I would pretty much know who they were. Before the cards, they had to tell us upfront they were WIC and show us their vouchers for what they were allowed to get. It was awful sometimes, like two gallons of milk, $4 worth of vegetables, etc., etc. They'd always have items hanging back, waiting to see what the total was and if they would have to take it off the belt. I began to place the fruits, vegetables a certain way on the register scale so that like a half pound of grapes read as like 0.28 pounds or something. Then act shock when I when I said they still had X amount of pounds left. They got all their fruit and vegetables. I think it started to kind of catch on to the women because I would have the same moms in my line month after month. And even after they switched the cards, uh, they worked like food stamp cards. I'd still do the same thing. They were able to get more produce for whatever crappy max amount Indiana gave them. Always be chaotic. It's more fun that way. Yeah, if somebody puts you in a position of power and that position of power, uh, has the potential to oppress other people. You, you can quiet quit, you can just quit, or you can use that power for good because I don't think they ever expect that. Because I work in IT, this doesn't really apply to me because I just make sure everybody can access all their stuff at all the times, because yeah, but, but this is wonderful. This is heartwarming and wholesome. Comment on this saying something along the lines of, I want this on a t-shirt. <laughs> this, uh, ah, this is beautiful. The, the post describes it, but basically, I'll explain how this works in function. If you post a meme or like a new logo or something like that, uh, uh, there will be a bot that will scrape the artwork directly from the post and put it onto a t-shirt, generate a new purchase page and post that as a reply to your comment. To be like, I posted one of the things that like, I literally just made merch for something. And and somebody said, oh my God, I can't wait to get the t-shirt. And another site scraped that picture and put the picture of my picture of merch onto a picture of a shirt. <laughs> And then created like a purchase page for it. There, the it, it's wild. French environmentalists targeted sites near Toulouse, calling golf the leisure industry of the most privileged. Climate activists fill golf holes with cement <laughs> after water ban exemption. Why are golf courses getting water ban exemptions? It is. It is a flat surf. Man, just astroturf that crap if you really want to walk around and hit a tiny ball. I lived in a community once in Florida that was like all about golf. Like even the kids played, there were golf lessons for like little ones. I, I, I sat through like half a round of golf and I just wanted to jump into the one of the lakes because that seemed way more interesting than anything that was going on. Like it'd be pretty if it was a park or something, you could actually run around and do something, but no, yeah, line up and hit this little tiny ball and go we're gonna go right in the cart for five minutes because there's nothing else to do. The clubhouse had good fries though. I'll give them that. You just have fries in a giant park and I'll be, I'll be on board. Teacher did one of those word cloud things with a virtual response thing for the question, what makes rabbits so special? I submitted the word soft 600 times. <laughs> I've never seen this. This would be so widely abused in the schools full of geeks I went to. Oh, this... Mm. We would have been making entire sentences by like sequencing bursts of words. Oh, that's awful. 
Sometimes you just use what you got, I guess. Mercado El Val. Oh wait, Mercado Block of Val? It's like they scratched out half the sign. They're still a registered trademark. They could come after you. I don't think they're going to. They only got one store and it's pretty much a novelty. Man fights off shark, stitches up own leg, goes to the pub. New Zealander. James Grant stabs Predator with a knife to get free, swims ashore, sutures wounds, and goes to pub for a beer. Is this guy part of the John Wick universe, but in New Zealand? Just staggering out of there and being like, all right, I'm stitched up. I need, I, I need some alcohol. May this be the year in which you stop writing for fame or money and start writing for revenge. Everything I do that I aim for success in is all for revenge. Success is the best form of revenge. Found this walking home after a long day. Stay fracking positive. I like that. I, I really do. A Ukrainian steals $25,000 in Bitcoin from Russian dark web market and gives it to a Kiev charity. Good. Good job. W welcome to the dark web. I like to imagine this is an actual photo of, of the hack. Dear Steve, I hope you're happy with her. Now the whole town will know what a filthy cheater you are. From Jenny. P.S. I bought this ad using your credit card. <laughs> oh, this looked like it was on a bulletin board for a second. And then I realized it's like a folded newspaper. It's it's giant. I wonder if the people like laying out the newspaper, they're doing layout, just like sat there giggling like, we're not going to get involved. We're just going to take the money and put the ad in and just see what happens. When I was in fourth grade, I was in the gifted program. Oh, me too. And they let us go to the library more often, which meant we had more chances to take the accelerated reader tests and get points. And whoever reached a certain threshold got to go to Chuck E. Cheese. So I go around asking people I knew that had a hard time reading uh, what their logins were ah, and sneak in to take tests for them so they could go to Chuck E. Cheese too. I got caught and they didn't let me go to Chuck E. Cheese, but it was worth it. Frack you. Chuck E. Cheese official. We love your heroics. We're going to deal with whoever caught you. Chuck E. Cheese official. I'm more just refreshed by a brand actively threatening something. Imagine Chuck E. Cheese himself showing up to your house at two o'clock in the morning with a baseball bat. That'd inspire fear. Coworker said she would only accept an official Apple mouse. So I dug this out of storage and left it on her desk. To be fair, this has better ergonomics than the magic mouse. And it doesn't need to be upside down to charge. It had a really satisfying clicky button too. Why am I nostalgic for this cyber truck looking thing? I had to do it to save everyone. Man breaks into school and shelters nearly a dozen people from Blizzard. I don't know where this is. Uh, the article doesn't say, but I'm sure if this is in any, any sort of cold climate, like they would understand. They'd be like, please break a window or something to get people inside during a storm, especially given the, the gear he's wearing. I'm, I'm sure they get some serious cold weather and they'd rather people just break a window. Shout out to the US embassies in Austria, Chile, India, and South Korea, who have directly ignored orders from the Trump administration in flying the pride flag. They found, found really clever workarounds uh, as they were banned from flying the pride flag on the flagpole. They aren't ignoring orders. They are obeying uh, the orders to the exact letter. Malicious compliance. Yeah, the building is technically US soil. Like it's on US soil, so they can put whatever they want on the building. Also in Mexico City, they couldn't fly in the flag, but they didn't say anything about a picture of a flying f <gasps> No, aha, that's the best. That's the best thing ever. It's like, you said I couldn't fly the pride flag. You didn't say I couldn't fly a picture of the pride flag. Wow, that's that's just a smart aleck thing. I love it. This is some god tier chaotic lawful evil stuff. No, that's lawful good. That, that's chaotic. No, it's just, it goes back to chaotic good. Chaotic good fighting lawful evil. I love it. Today I learned the first woman to ever interview a US president did so by stealing his clothes as he swam naked and refused to give them back until he agreed to the interview. What? <laughs> she has the expression of just like, yeah, I know what I did and I'm proud of it. Good for her. <laughs> Zoo separates five parrots after the birds were caught encouraging each other to swear a guests become ungovernable. <laughs> Man, you don't need a mohawk and spikes to be a punk. Being a punk is about breaking rules. No feeding the ducks. Feeding ducks? Punk is crap. Quack. Crack the system. Hell yeah, little dude. <laughs> I love this. People that gatekeep punk have always just confused me. We want rules in our system. 
that is about breaking rules. What? Teachers, the Supreme Court just ruled that you can lead your students in prayer. I hope you're all prepared to uphold and honor that decision. <laughs> Bring out your prayer rug, your pentagrams, your herbs and tarot cards, your Quran, your Tanakh and Talmud, your ram's horn, your Star of David, your Baphomet, your Satanic Bible, your altars, your Tibetan prayer wheel, your Book of Shadows, and for those so inclined, your colanders. All praise his noodly appendage. Run. <laughs> My first thought was that it would be funny to stand out there and cheer them on as Michael Myers since the marathon was the weekend before Halloween. <laughs> I love this. I, I would never I would never do a marathon again. I did one once. But but if I saw this halfway through, it would just make me would make the entire thing so much better. Model and actress Anita Ekberg, after being followed and hounded by photographers, beat up one of them. When they threatened to call the cops, she retrieved a bow and arrow from her villa and shot another photographer. 1960. Yeah, it's amazing how in America you don't have the right to your own image. Like, I was just reading a thing about Germany. Like, you, you can't just do this. And it's amazing that people don't expect consequences from it. Always carry zip ties so you can frack with people who park like arseholes. I do always carry zip ties just out of habit because network engineering, my backpack's full of Velcro and zip ties, and this is exactly what I'm going to use them for. Time to paint me red again. Result. Thank you. <laughs> I like this graffiti to get things done mantra. Man helps me to not pay for a toilet. I'm sorry, what? So I was going on a trip with my circus group and we wanted to go by train. I wanted to pee before we left because the toilets in the trains are gross. I walked to the toilet and see that you need to pay 50 euro cents to go to the toilet. I live in Europe. So I get frustrated and start walking back to the group uh, when I get stopped by a man who worked in the city hall, which is in the same building as the train station. He says if you go into the city hall and immediately immediately left, you can pee without paying. After I got back from the toilet, I saw him do this a few more times. This man who works for the city is helping people while making sure the city gets less money. And as far as I know, he is still doing that because I was there just yesterday and saw him do it again. That's magnificent. I, I've never understood the concept behind paying for a bathroom. I get the upkeep part of it. Uh, but like locking the door unless you pay, like you're putting a barrier between someone who can uh, cause biomedical waste to be in the streets and where it should actually go. Like this, this is not a problem they need to solve. This is gonna be your problem fairly soon. My daughter crying because she cheated on her boyfriend and I told him, good man. Yeah, n no cheat, no cheat, any gender, no cheat. Today I learned about Tommy Marvel Manville, the heir to the Johns Manville fortune. The terms of his family trust granted him $250,000 when he married. As a result, he got married 13 times, giving the women a cut of the proceeds before quickly divorcing them. I mean, depending on your timing, you can get annulled. That is beautiful. As long as everybody was on board with this, like everyone understood like, oh, we'll date for a bit or oh, we'll just get married for funsies and I'll, I'll get some money out of it. I see no problem with this. Homeless man arrested for stealing excavator to help man change his tire in downtown. <sighs> okay. I admire your ingenuity and engineering. I don't think you should be arrested for this, but but also I don't think people should be using excavators to lift cars. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a terrible person here. I just want people to be safe with hydraulics because hydraulics do not stop. And if you accidentally drop a car on some guy, yeah, bruh. Everyone must have a fruit or vegetable. No cap. It's none of our business if you eat it or not, but it must be on your trays. Don't hate the players, hate the game. And a bunch of stuff I'm only going to attempt to say because I'm too white. Uh, lunch crew. I'm a type one diabetic. I require insulin to live multiple times a day. When I was in middle school, many years ago, we didn't have insulin pump and, and had to use syringes and vials like everyone else. The school refused to let me carry it with me, meaning I had to go to the nurse's office several times a day to inject. It's not just before lunch, but could be any number of times d depending on the current blood sugar levels. The district then cut nurse staff to just spending half a day at two schools and the nurse left before I had lunch. I asked the office staff to unlock the office so I could take my insulin and eat lunch. They refused. By middle school, I've been dealing with type one for about five years and didn't take crap on the topic. I went to the school lobby, picked up the payphone. I just dated myself. 
and called 911 telling them, hi, I'm at blank school, I am a type 1 diabetic, and the office won't unlock a door and let me take insulin. They sent a fire truck, and a bunch of firemen met me outside and walked me to the office and asked, while ignoring the staff, which room was the nurse's office? I pointed to the door and he was like, okay, boys, chop it down. This kid needs his insulin. Suddenly, the office secretary could unlock the door and I didn't need to put it in the nurse's office every day anymore. This was something I never understood. One of my good friends in grade school had, had very severe diabetes and like five, six times a day need to go to the nurse's office and someone will always go with him in case like there was a, there was a problem on the way there. And I would all often go with him because we were friends and I wanted to make sure he was okay. But he had to go to like, just check his blood sugar. Like anything slightly, and some of the teachers, most of the teachers are fine, but some of the teachers are like, eh, I don't know. I'm like, your BS math problems are less important than, you know, him not falling over. I don't medical, but I, I just, I, I, he needs to be okay. Okay, funny long story of mine. So this dyslexic kid in my class uses a computer. One of the teachers actually banned him to use it. So him and his friends literally printed over 800 Google searches and the dyslexic kid would ask for a search and his friends searched for like two minutes. I gave him a paper about it. This is the funniest crap I've seen all year. <gasps> that is wonderful. I was one of the weird kids in class that had a laptop because I took notes and because handwriting was hard for me to see. Even even my own and uh, and typing was giant and I would also record uh, stuff so that in case I missed something on the board, I would be able to refer back to it. Only had a problem with one teacher once and I let them have their, their silly little, oh, you can't have computers in class and stuff like that and just went like, straight to the higher ups and they like immediately brought her it was over in seconds literally nobody man named nobody ran for mayor claiming nobody tells the truth that is amazing that dude has no idea what's going on i like to litter ufcw literature in my local walmart to make management panic and waste their time and money ah uh, union something r slash chaotic good yes the united food and commercial workforce international union for us and canada that's wonderful. Guy dressed as Yama, god of death, gives free helmets to bikers uh, who aren't wearing one. Those are expensive. That's amazing. Yeah, dude, oh wow, like actual bikes, like actual motorcycles. Yeah, you need, you need a helmet than that. I know helmets are annoying, but uh, you know what's more annoying? Traumatic brain injury. Takes one good hit. Chicago man arrested after repeatedly stealing guns off of officers using a toy dino grabber. You know, a controversial opinion, but I don't think people should be going to jail for objectively funny crimes. Uh, I don't think goofballs should be getting prison time. And this guy, look at the eyebrow raise, the expression. This is a goofball. Certified. Verified. Stamped. Goofball. Green pre- <laughs> Green priest. Shut up, man. <laughs> Green Peace drops boulders off Cornwall to disrupt deep fishing. Greenpeace has dropped 18 boulders into the ocean about 200 miles off Cornwall in an attempt to disrupt industrial fishing. So how does that work? I, I'm, I'm failing to understand why that disrupts deep fishing. Is there anyone who's smarter than me can explain that? I'm not sure what that does. Does it like, uh, do the fish, do the fishermen catch the boulders or what, what's going on? I, I don't, cool, but how does it stop fishing? It is never the answer. You gotta outlive your enemies. Oh, this is strangely motivational. Seriously, this just spoke to me in the most intense, odd way. Yeah, you know, he's kind of like that. He's something of a, something of a people person, something of a talker. Man buys a hate group's domain and turns it into a gay furry site. The Wolves of Odin is an anti-Muslim hate group, but if you go to their Canadian website, you'll only see love, cause that's uh, how you fight. That's how you fight them where they're at. That's how you fight hate. My dad's a boomer. He sometimes lets Facebook get him riled up and believe in conspiracy theories. I have his login information for his Facebook. He knows. Every once in a while, I go into his Facebook and clean out all the conspiracy theory junk so it doesn't get too far to the right or left. I replace the hate groups with puppy groups. Sometimes he'll mention how many dogs are on his feed nowadays, and it makes me smile. Aw, you're just trying to keep you, listen, the internet, and I think in particular places like Facebook and stuff can get very vitriolic. You're doing you're doing a good thing. Me and my wife woke up at 2 a.m. and smelled food cooking. Our 
neighbor was so drunk that he mistook our backyard for his and started grilling a bunch of burgers. Well, now you get a little bit of late night snackage, you know? Oh, look at his face too. He is, he is sloshed, but he's cooking. He's on the grill. I, I don't know how to pronounce this town name. Las Cruces man breaks in the gas station, but still pays for the cigarettes. So you can see there, he's got, you know, six bucks. I love how he's holding it up right to the camera. He's showing them, hey, I'm leaving money here. I want these. He was out of, he was out of smokes. He needed, he needed to go on a smoke run. Police, Florida man jailed are trying to barbecue all, dude, barbecue all the chomos. Come on, let him, let him out. He's not doing anything wrong. After many cocks, what a name. The, <laughs> sorry, my, I'm juvenile humor. The first black female postmaster was pressured out of her post in Mississippi. President Theodore Roosevelt continued to pay her salary and punished the town by rerouting their mail 30 miles away until they gave her back the position. And that's why Teddy Roosevelt's the GOAT, dude. Teddy Roosevelt is, is, is the president. He is him. Fake doctor arrested in Kenya after performing eight successful surgeries. Wait, eight successful surgeries? Like there was no mortalities, there was all good. I don't think you arrest him, I think you just give him a degree, like you just give him the PhD, right? That seems like the most obvious answer to me. A bank robber named Pretty Boy Floyd was known for destroying mortgage papers on heists, freeing hundreds of people from property debt. You are a bad guy, but this does not mean you are a bad guy. It's a very dis important distinction. All right, yeah, you talk from the bank. Oh, oh no, but you freed the common man. Uh, you know, I think, I think, uh, you know, you gotta crack a couple eggs to make an omelet, you know what I mean? When I was pulling into my house earlier today, I saw private security chalking the tires of all the cars on the block. So when he left, I kindly went back and squirted all the tires with a water bottle to erase the mess. I was just being a good neighbor. We don't have an HOA, and the neighborhood is a series of different, affordable apartments housed predominantly by immigrant, non-white working class, or retirees slash seniors who don't leave their house much. Edit, for those asking, the purpose of chalking tires is to ensure the car is not stationary beyond whatever duration they have set for a neighborhood that they don't live in. Is that for like, gauging a robbery? I don't, I don't understand why that would be a thing. Uh, again, maybe this is just inexperienced talking, but I've never seen that. Is that to just like, c case a house without having to look inside of it? QR code sticker for factory farm education, doc. Oh, let's see it. Oh, <laughs> get 30% off this chicken purchase, let's go. It's not what you think. It's not what you think. <laughs> Things my dentist has actually said to me. Well, either the x-rays lie to me or you are spontaneously creating teeth. I'm going with the second one because it's way cooler. When was the last time you flossed? Your gums aren't bleeding, which means either I'm not doing this hard enough or you actually floss your teeth regularly. You don't need to do a fluoride treatment. I just want to go check my Facebook for a second. This is the best excuse I can come up with. Don't worry, your insurance will cover it. Take a whole handful of toothbrushes. I can't order new ones unless ugly colors until these ones are gone. Remember not to eat or drink anything for a half hour. Oh, actually, you know what? Forget that. Go eat lemons and drink coffee right now. I make money based on people's bad decisions. You should probably stop brushing your teeth too. I became a dentist because I like making children cry and they don't let you do that as a regular doctor. Is this a chaotic neutral dentist? <laughs> Your dentist sounds like the dude out of uh, Little Shop of Horrors. What's his name? His name is Orin. Orin Scrivella was who I was thinking of. He sounds like a maybe like a, a more sarcastic, less evil dent Orin Scrivello. That's funny. The more random people you see jogging for no reason, the higher the rent is going up. Yeah, I heard a gunshot coming from my neighbor's yard late at night a few weeks after I moved in. I went to check it out, and when I approached him, he told me he does it once every month or so just to keep the property value and taxes at a reasonable level. I'm used to it now. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do to keep things, pro you know, affordable for the whole neighborhood. He's doing a community service. The public library made me buy this book because of some incredibly minor damage that was there before I checked it out. It's a pretty popular book that the library never replaced. That was three years ago. I removed all the stickers and chips and I'm now donating it back to the library. Oh, you mean this thing that they're never gonna worry about because it's just minor cosmetic damage? Yeah, just, you're doing a good, you know what? Things are back to the way they were. It's balanced itself out in due time. Oh boy, Haryana's uh, Guru Graham residents hold authorities at gunpoint and made them construct road overnight with 30 arrested. 
Well, there's a broken road. What do you expect us to do? Just drive over the broken road, this big patch of destroyed road? No, we need you to construct it. I took away all the towel seat reservations at the resort. I was on holidays at an all-inclusive resort. First day, we couldn't find any lounge chairs by the beach or by the sea. Fair enough, we arrived in the afternoon. Next day, we go to find a spot, but most of the spots were taken by towels. We find an empty seat, and to our surprise, many of the chairs stay reserved almost the whole day or never get used. Third day, we decide to take some towels off two loungers and enjoy our day. Four hours in, an older couple shows up that they had towels there and kick us off with help from an attendant. That pissed me off. So every following day, I went to take the towels off every unattended lounger after breakfast, and then went to watch the chaos from my balcony. Many, many people complained by the end of the week there was a sign that unattended towels would be removed. Success! You can't just claim a chair for the day and then not use it. Oh, that that's gonna be mine, but you, you can't take it because it's mine. No. You gotta use it or lose it, dude. A biotech startup has managed to 3D print fake rhino horns that carry the same genetic fingerprint as the actual horn. The company plans to flood the Chinese rhino horn market at one-eighth of the price of the original, undercutting the price poachers get and forcing them out eventually. Hey, man. Listen, you, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I like it. I like this move. I like the biotech strategy. I just finished beating someone up and I hate myself for it, but he kicked my cat. That's reasonable. More than reasonable. I just had a roommate coming to my house drunk and trying to start a fight with me and when I didn't reciprocate he kicked my six week old kitten. I proceeded to beat his ass for 30 minutes. I feel very ashamed but I love my cat. It's a six week old kitten and he kicked it? It was multiple beatings in a 30 minute time frame. Yeah, beatings continue until morale improves. That's the rule. That's I thought we were all on the same page there. My friend is such a dangerous driver. Uses her phone, speeds, etc. She's a great person but I'm terrified she'll cause an accident so I purposely directed her down a road I knew a speed camera. She already had points and ended up losing her license, but the streets are safer. You do what you gotta do. Like I said, you gotta, if you gotta get the job done, you gotta get the job done. This time of year, I grab weeds while I'm walking my dog and weave them into little reefs that I leave around the neighborhood. Specifically because there is a woman on next door who is furious because she thinks they're signs of witchcraft. I encourage you to do the same and let her think that the world's gone crazy. Decades in between and still doing it. Keith McHenry, the founder of the global movement Food Not Bombs, was arrested and jailed by the Santa Cruz Police Department today for the crime of serving food to the unhoused community members. Oh, the horror! And then on August 15, 1988, nine Food Not Bomb volunteers, including co-founder Keith McHenry, were arrested for sharing food and literature with the unhoused. Oh, the humanity! <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. I don't stop drinking because the owner of the bar has a family to feed, says a drunk. Did he say that or did he kind of mumble that and you did your best to make out what he said? Either way, he's a hero and should be treated very delicately and carefully or else he may throw up. Hey guys, I just wanted to put this out that I work at Walmart, I'm 16, and whenever I'm working in the aisle, anytime I see any product of Nestle, I put it on an overstock cart and hope that my managers will see that almost all Nestle products are always overstock and hopefully stop ordering them at my Walmart. I know it's not that much, but I try. Hey man, it's the little things that count. Don't even worry about it. It's the little, little, little baby steps that count. A group of Philadelphians self-describing themselves as gutter pagans erased $1.6 million in local medical debt. They celebrated with an unofficial debt burning. Let's go, paid in full! My favorite three words. Oh, there we go, we're burning it. We're just burning that debt, getting it out of there. Nice. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I wanted to see, a big burn. Can we all just appreciate the incredible vibes of my new employer taking an absolutely wild one-star review and making it into a t-shirt? This place is full of satanic activity. Oh, well, what, what, what's the review? Let's see. This place is full of satanic activity. As free breathing humans, we are discriminated against. The wait staff refuse to serve our laughing, smiling faces. I cannot believe the treatment we received here as if we were below them. If you like freedom, go elsewhere. <laughs> Damn, dude, good looking out. Nice. All right. Sick t-shirt, though. I love it. Hey, secret police. If you ever kidnap me and throw me in a rental van, I will sh** so bad inside that van. I hope your unconstitutional asses are ready to pay $1,700 to get my grown man feces out of that Chrysler Pacifica and whatnot. 
Grown man feces. Do what I gotta do. Poo where I gotta poo. If you arrest me unlawfully. Signs like these are going up in Aussie supermarkets. Special. We made over $1 billion in profits while you can't even afford bread. It's on sale. Missouri trans quote snitch form down after people spammed it with the B movie script. A Missouri government tip site for submitting complaints and concerns about gender affirming care is down after people flooded it with fan fiction rambling anecdotes and the B movie script. The Missouri government checking the website. You like jazz? Uh, we like jazz and we also like gender affirming care. We took it down. We took the site down with jazz. Zura Karuhimbi, I hope I said that name right, saved more than 100 people during the Rwandan genocide using her reputation as a witch to scare killers away. Whenever a militia neared her house where she'd hidden would-be victims, she would shake her bracelets and threaten to curse them and their families. She would even touch them with a skin-irritating herb. They avoided their house. Yeah, because if you're a witch, that doesn't mean you're bad. Well, what, what, did, what did Zangief say, or whatever his name is? You were a bad guy, but you're not a bad guy? It's the rule, dude. A 74-year-old man uses his hairdryer to slow traffic near his home, keeping the neighborhood safe. One deceptive, silly tactic at a time. I work at a credit card company. Someone replied to her offer by taping the no postage necessary flyer to a box full of their trash in a small boulder. Well, you know, it's important. Dude, that shit's amazing. Uh, makes you shit amazing? Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Very forceful and very smooth with a hoppy aroma. I love it. Richard Bradley, dressed in a Union soldier's uniform, cuts down the Confederate flag from atop the 50-foot pole in front of San Francisco City Hall, April 15th, 1984. He climbed that? Dude, let him put up his own flag. Give him his own flag to hang up there. He was able to take that down, a 50 foot pole, no equipment. Give him his own flag. The man who had a few too many alcoholic beverages ordered an Uber for a baby goldfinch that he found struggling on the ground. The baby bird was sole passenger on the ride to a wildlife rehab. Had to take care of it. And you know what? That was a five star passenger. Solution, before going on flights, buy a plastic pipette. Then when you're on the flight and this happens, ask for a plastic cup from the air host slash hostess. Go to the lavatory and use the cup as a reservoir. Fill the pipette with your urine. Slowly drop some droplets of urine on the poor idiot's feet until they get the message. Alternatively, bring a Sharpie on board and draw on their feet, or write something like, I'm a selfish scumbag who sticks their feet onto other people's armrests. Alternatively, try and get some itching powder on board. They can't stick their feet in your space if they're busy scratching their feet. So this didn't have like a, a post before it to like prime me for what this was gonna be about. Now that I understand that this was talking about people who put their feet on other people's armrests, this is a perfect solution. I feel like the, the P one is, uh, you know, a little, a little strange. Uh, am I crazy or is using words to ask someone to move their feet still on the table? Nope, not at that point. It's about the principle of the thing. Be me, be white. Have job in landscaping for multiple HOAs. Work with a lot of Latinos who speak little to no English. White lady comes up to me. Oh, thank God, someone who speaks English. Start speaking back to her in Dutch. Not quite, ma'am, not quite. Lesbian escapes Russia by boat and sails to Canada to be with the woman she loves. That sounds like a movie plot. That's, I would watch a movie about that actually. The daring escape by boat, dodging Russian authorities. Sounds dope. Burglar gently waking me. You live like this? So I heard this story secondhand many years ago, but the gist was that a friend of a friend lived in what was generally considered to be a bad neighborhood because he was a super poor college student and was what he could afford. He didn't have any furniture. He just slept on a blanket on the floor and had a milk crate for a chair and an old wire spool as a table. No TV, nothing in the fridge, no microwave, basically just bare walls and a roof to keep the weather off. So one day he comes home and there's a man in his apartment just standing there with this look of utter amazement and horror on his face. He turns to the guy who just entered and says, This your place? Cause I broke in to rob you, but man, you ain't got nothing. Wait here, I'm gonna be right back. And the burglar left, leaving a puzzled college student alone in his empty apartment. But sure enough, the burglar came back a while later and brought some friends. And they delivered a table, a couple chairs, and a small TV. I think I got you a bed too, but that might take a couple days. So the poor college student made some friends and he didn't ask where they got the stuff. And that is true chaotic good. That is my favorite post of this entire thing. My ex-girlfriend had a few too many shots of a tequila in a party and passed out on the couch. 
When I went to check her, I noticed she pissed all over the couch. To avoid embarrassment, I filled up a bucket with water and threw it over her to disguise it as a prank. She still has no idea. Now that's chaotic good, but chaotic evil would be to piss all over her to disguise the fact that she pissed herself. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, baby, don't understand. You peed when you were sleeping, so I peed on you to make it look like, you know, I was helping. <laughs> Fun history facts. One of the 31 people arrested at Stonewall on June 28th, 1969 was American folk singer Dave Van Ronk, who was not at the Stonewall Inn at the time and was cis and straight as far as I'm aware. He'd been eating dinner at a nearby restaurant when he noticed a riot happening and said, well, I suppose I should go see what the fuss is about, stepped outside and immediately started throwing bricks at the cops. Just Dave Van Ronk things for a Dave Van Ronk kind of night. Hey, mister, would you like a puppy? No, but I'll take one. Okay, I'm gonna cherish and care for this dog. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Aw, well, that's exactly what we wanted. Women shouldn't say bad words. Retweet if you agree. Hello, Nick. I'm a reporter with KLWG in Boise. They're doing a story on men that have never pleased a woman sexually. May I use your tweets? Well, since you asked so nicely, I I'm gonna say yes on his behalf. <laughs> I'm a straight man who married a dude. Ask me anything. I married him because I joined the Air Force and if you're married, you get a housing pay and permission to live off base. He gets free health care. He's my best friend who's forever single and has mad health issues, including recurring prostate cancer. So you did the right thing. You helped your bro out. And now he's got free housing, right? That's how it works. Or just free health care. Either way, he's taken care of. You helped your bro out. May this see if I can get conservatives to protest more stuff they love. Chevy and Marlboro are next. The Raptor Pro. It's a part of trans youth. We are proud to introduce our newest line of trucks. Built Ford Proud. Includes optional truck nuts. Aw, we got a gender affirming truck, dude. I'm a long haired native who doesn't steal. So whenever I get followed in a store, I keep the employee on my tail for as long as possible to make it a little easier for people who need to steal to get what they need. It's the little things that count. This is what true chaotic good is all about. Woman on an American Airlines plane duct taped to the seat because she tried to open the door mid flight. <laughs> Now, I know that's a very tense situation, but I am living for the day that I see this on one of my, like, you know, flights. The closest I've gotten to something crazy happening on a plane was on a Spirit Airlines flight. We were stuck at the gate. Um, we had just landed in Atlanta and they hadn't connected the, like, bridge to the to the uh, plane door so we couldn't leave the gate, you know what I mean? And a fight started to break out behind us. Me and Brianna are, are sitting on in front of these guys and it's a dude in the aisle and a dude in the seat and they're bickering back and forth. So, uh, younger dude and an old white guy and we it, it, old doing old white guy things right being you know generally intolerant <laughs> I mean, it was that kind of it was that kind of guy you know what i mean um and at some point me and Bree are listening in because we're you know we're we're cheese mosas uh and the the younger dude in the aisle goes shut up with your bald ass and there's silence that is quickly broken by Bree letting out a hearty gleeful just the most adorable little giggle that only she can muster and then all both of them look at me the six four big old dude who's standing in the aisle and i'm like oh all right well, this is a situation I got to pretend I wasn't listening to now. That's the closest I've gotten to something this natural and beautiful in, in, the, in the wild on an airplane. The Satanic Temple of Missouri adopted the street in front of the Church of Scientology. Adopt a street. Oh, yep. Scenes right there. Satanic Temple of Missouri. You know, sometimes we just got to adopt a road and name it after the Satanic Temple. It's just some things you'd got to do. Text on bag reads, as this text has no other purpose than to terrify those who are afraid of the Arabic language. And then who have you scared? Is there a list? I would like to know who, who to laugh, point, and giggle at. Oh, we got some skeezy, or squeezy, sorry. We got some squeezy. Where are you? I f***ed up. How? I went to India, not Indiana. Dude, just tell me you don't love me. What the f***? Isn't that the neck tattoo guy? I was at a party last night and he busted a tattoo gun. I was like, hell yeah, I've been trying to get a sick neck tat forever. Well, I was pretty messed up and I already passed out. But when I woke up this morning, I was like, what the f*** is this sh The guy was all like, that's your neck tattoo, homie. I was like, what the f*** you talking about? And he said, I gave you a neck tattoo. It looks exactly like your neck. I was like, I wanted a tattoo on my neck, not of my neck, you idiot. Then he was like, well, that's your fault for not specifying. Now give me my $17. <laughs> Dude, listen, you didn't, you didn't specify. That's your problem, man. Squeezy, you have to be specific with these kinds of things. You can't just give them a general idea. 
I always do leave a compliment for Amazon delivery drivers, no matter how they actually did, because they were friendly. You got it. So that way they're, you know, keeping their job. It's a, it's a bunch of things. It's the little things, like I'm saying. It's been a theme. It's the little things. Pro tip, replace your cat litter box with an Amazon box. When it's full, tape it up and place it on your front porch for someone to steal. Good prank. Glitter bomb trap? Nah, nah. Once my brother got into a fist fight with a trans guy and when he got sent to the principal's office, the principal kept going like, how dare you hit a woman? And my brother got so offended on the trans guy's behalf that he got into a fight with the principal too. My HOA sent me a letter that I need to have a fence blocking my trash cans from view. So they didn't say what the fence needs to look like. <laughs> Since we're all talking about leaving Twitter again, can I bring back the idea of migrating to LinkedIn en masse and just totally destroying the professional vibe over there? Yes, please do it. LinkedIn is okay as a platform, but oh my God, it's so hollow. Thinking about how in Korean traditional theater, there was a monster called that, uh, Young No, which eats rich people. And if he eats a hundred of them, it gets to go to heaven. Ah, cool. Um. Where, where would I get one of these? Asking for, for, for friends. Please remember that when Doomguy was ordered to fire on unarmed civilians, he punches commanding officer, and that's why he was sent to Mars. Be like Doomguy. I feel like be like Doomguy should have an asterisk after it, but I'm not gonna be the one to put it there. What's the first thing you would do if you were invisible for a day? I would probably fly to Paris, find a street performing mime, and beat him to death. The applause he would get would be astounding. Same. Actually, no, I would just puppet him around, like grab his, his wrists and like dance him around behind him as he slowly begins panicking. We're proud to launch one of our most challenging projects to date, the Uncensored Library. Oh, I've heard of this. We've built a virtual library in Minecraft, which bypasses press censorship in oppressive regimes. Our library is filled with censored articles, journals, and information on press freedom. Fortunately, Minecraft is still accessible in these countries, so our virtual library creates a backdoor, which allows gamers worldwide to reach this material. Find out more at this website and built by Blockworks. Absolutely wonderful. Circumvent all that BS. Nothing makes me happier than seeing people circumvent oppressive governments as those oppressive governments learn that respect is earned, not deserved. My fracking sister got me $50 in singles and wrapped each individual dollar. Good job. <laughs> it's not as bad as a bouquet of singles but it's pretty bad. Watch Florida man steal a car, realize baby is in it, drops baby off safely before making his getaway. <laughs> He's more responsible than whoever left a baby in a car alone. Okay, I don't I don't know the entire story, but the way this reads, it seems like the car was carjacked, but m maybe the car was also just running in a parking lot. I don't know. Good guy, well done. Being nice is so easy. Just do it. Positive graffiti, I approve. The first thing our new hire did was fix a bug that's been bugging him forever as a user prior to joining. He then breathed a sigh of relief and submitted two weeks notice. What the frack? I've heard this story before. I don't know if it's just being copied or what, but this is also something I would do because so many apps don't support text-to-speech. I would work there until all of the text was selectable via text-to-speech and then I would leave. I worked at McDonald's for two and a half years and I put 11 nuggets in almost every 10 piece I made. Cody, you're a hero. Thinking about the homeless man in Austin who I used to pay $15 to wash my car while I went out and one night I came back and all the cars around mine were broken into except mine and he was sitting on my hood and and said, I ain't let them touch this one, Miss Kenzie. Oh my God, that's that's kind of magical. I, I'm also glad that you were giving money to him to, to like to do something. That's just a positive transaction. I like this. A 27 year old Jackson, Mississippi man was arrested over the weekend for hacking into the Hines, Hines County Human Services Department and approving all applications for food stamps. <laughs> After approving the applications, he then had cards mailed out to new applicants, all totaling $2,500 each. Current card holders were also awarded 2,500 credits. His bond was set at $100,000 and has since bonded out. More on this story tonight at 10 p.m. Fox News. More in the story tonight on how the entire town is just gonna fund this man's lawyer and trial and he better get off scot free. Magical. Hey, secret police. If you ever kidnap me and throw me in a rental van, I will schnitz so bad inside that van. I, oh, sorry. 
I hope you unconstitutional arses are ready to pay $1,700 to get my grown man feces out of that Chrysler Pacifica and whatnot. <laughs> oh, that's a defense. A bank robber named Pretty Boy Floyd was known for destroying mortgage papers on heists freeing hundreds of people from property debt. What a beautiful man. Most of those hostile designed benches to keep homeless people from sleeping in public, they're usually just regular benches with the bar in the middle, middle attached later with a few hex nuts and bolts, not welded. In other words, you can get them off with practically any wrench that fits. I have liber been liberating my parks in my city all day now takes maybe a few minutes for each bench. The only problem is finding a place to dispose of the junk bar when you're done without loading trash cans past capacity. Anyway, it's easy, it's helpful, and it's praxis. I'm not looking for a job, but I send out applications periodically just so I can ask about the salary range and tell them it's too low no matter what it is. Doing my part to get the rest of you paid. Ah, that's kind of wonderfully sweet. 1989, a 15-year-old boy in Indiana who acquired the alias Fry Guy, accessed the mainframe of McDonald's, <laughs> mainframe, uh, after acquiring the password from a store manager and increased the pay rates of his friends who worked there. Wonderful, beautiful, and excellent. The single most important thing a man can do to be an ally is give his woman's woman friends permission to give dudes at the bar his number so when they call, he can angrily say, that's not funny because she died 15 years ago that very night. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a, that's a mood killer. That's excellent. Group of furries beat a person who was assaulting a homeless man and his dog. Good work, furries. I hope they never find the body. My annoying landlord. I pay this britch $1,800 every fracking month, and all she does is complain about is making too much noise walking around. So I bought a dog whistle and blow it all hours of the day and night. Now I complain how much her dog barks and keeps me up. That's the ultimate petty move, and I applaud you. I applaud you, but I also feel bad for the dog. I wish we could communicate to the dog that like everything's fine. Just please annoy the hell out of your landlord. My ex-girlfriend had a few too many shots of tequila in a party and passed out on the couch. When I went to check her, I noticed she pissed all over the couch. To avoid embarrassment, I filled up a bucket with water and threw it over her to disguise it as a prank. I'm that kind of boyfriend. She still has no idea. Now that's a chaotic good. Chaotic evil pissing all over her to disguise the fact that she pissed herself. There's always one. He used Snapchat's gender switch filter to pose as a 16 year old girl online and take down a police officer allegedly looking to hook up. He tipped off the PD and the officer was arrested. Our exclusive interview with the man and why he did it at 11 on NBC Bay Area. Good job, good freaking job. After many cocks, the first black female postmaster was pressured out of her post in Mississippi. President Theodore Roosevelt continued to pay her salary and punished the town by rerouting their mail 30 miles away until they gave her back the position. Teddy Roosevelt is just such a mad lad. I love him. The more random people you see jogging for no reason, the higher the rent is going up. This is so true. I heard a gunshot coming from my neighbor's yard late at night a few weeks after I moved in. I went to check it out. When I approached him, he told me he does it once every month or so just to keep the broader property value and taxes at a reasonable level. I'm used to it now. That's, that's beautiful. <laughs> Ancient evil awakens. Morals and ethics have changed so much in the last 10,000 years that the ancient evil is considered pretty moderate by today's standards. I will topple your empires and your kings. I will drain the wealth from your coffers and elevate your serfs and servants until they stand on the same ground as the mightiest of emperors. Women shall freely speak their minds unbound by the fetters you have set, and the lines between man and woman shall be hopelessly blurred and shattered into a thousand facets. Your children shall fall into one another, regardless of sex or class or wealth, and none shall raise a hand or word against them. The age of crowns and boundaries and divine right shall end, and it shall fall to each 
human to choose their... Wait, 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 why are you cheering? I'm the host of a yet another HGTV show about renovating houses for rich people, and when the couple comes to see their new beachfront property, I lead them to the door in blindfolds, and then I have them remove them and open their front door, and behind it is nothing. The entire house is gone. I tell them I used the budget to restore the crucial sand dunes ecosystem that existed there before. Look, I say, there's native coastal strawberry. The wife asks if this is a joke. The husband starts crying. I tell them both this was in the waiver they signed. They leave. I get ready for my next property. Actually kind of in favor of this for beaches. Still think you have a high risk of being shot. Three cheers for Daniel Ulfelder, a Stanford-educated lawyer who is showing up at beaches across America in full Grim Reaper attire to protest that they're opening up prematurely in the middle of a pandemic. Amazing. Uh, please don't die of heat stroke. I am slightly mixed on this one because I, uh, I fail to see how you can actually close a beach. That part just never compute. It's a beach. It is the sea. Just let Poseidon know that nobody, you know, nobody's allowed on the coast. Like if the entrance to that beach is closed, you find another entrance and you walk to it. It is a beach. You can't close it. <laughs> A man who had a few too many alcoholic beverages ordered an Uber for a baby goldfinch that he found struggling on the ground. The baby bird was the sole passenger on the ride to a wildlife re- What? What a wonderful man. So the company we pay, our rent who sent a very condescending mass email to all tenants about paying rent and forgot to BCC all emails. And now all the tenants have started a rent strike. Well. Oh, and technology, a wonderful thing. My bike was stolen last week, and yesterday I saw it for sale on Craigslist. So I messaged the seller, met him at McDonald's, and when I noticed it was 100% my bike, I dumbly asked to take it for a ride. He said, yeah, just don't ride off, which is exactly what I did. I stole my bike back. Good work! <laughs> my bike was stolen twice in New York, and the first time our building superintendent actually saw it on the street, somebody riding it, and basically bullied the guy on it into admitting he stole it, paid him $20 to get off the bike, brought my bike back, which was amazing, and then it was stolen the next week, and then I never saw it again. <laughs> Thank you, building superintendent. I'm sorry, it was for nothing. I couldn't find this little girl's parents, so I trapped her with dinosaurs so she wouldn't run off while I find them. <laughs> this is this is chaotic neutral. It, let's, let's be honest. Like, this is... There, there's some good, but there's some... Th th yeah. I have been using Spotify to secretly spy on my friend. One of my oldest friends names her Spotify playlists with specific names. One of her playlists is called Sad Lady Hours, and every time I see her actively listening to it, I shoot her a hopefully inconspicuous text asking what she is up to, that I love her, etc, etc. I hope she never notices the pattern. Sad Lady Hours. <gasps> Purest thing I've ever heard. A girl's voice in game chat is more powerful than any US Marine. Fun story, maybe? When I was younger, my brother was super duper into COD and he is actually really freaking good at it. So one day he gave me his mic headset and told me to talk while he was playing and it was wild. The levels of salt that young men produce when under the impression that a little girl is destroying them in COD is a beautiful thing. That is wonderful. <laughs> That is pure joy. New Hope Church. God says homosexuality is it. <laughs> Princess Diana broke the royal rules for her son, William, by taking part in the Mother's Day running race at her son's school. She won. Good for her. Although to be fair, if I was racing against Princess Diana, I'd probably hold it back a little because like, I'm not gonna be the one to like outrun Princess Diana. West Mirror Fire Department. Caution. Cops like to sit behind this sign. And there's one now! City of Gainesville dumped loads of mulch on one of the skate parks in town. See, I grew up not that far from Gainesville, so this does sound like something they would do. Someone posted free mulch on Facebook, and it was 100% gone by the rest of the day and blown clean with leaf blowers by citizens. Get worked, Gainesville. That's the civil disobedience I'm talking about. Yeah, mulch is expensive. I'm surprised they use mulch, not sand, considering Gainesville, Florida. They are a little inland, but still, good job and free mulch. Kitten breaks his owner's earphone cable and returns with Snake as replacement. It ain't much, but it's honest work. It's so wholesome. 
Dog sneaks out of kennel at night to comfort crying puppies. Oh, we don't deserve dogs. No, we really don't. We really don't. Probably chaotic neutral, but I feel like art is enrichment, so good to some. Me and the boys after we vandalize your wall. Eh, if vandalism, quote unquote vandalism, if graffiti is good and somebody's put, you know, effort and stuff into the art, I like it. I, I think it's kind of awesome. The world needs more art. If it's just a bunch of tags or somebody just like scribbling stupid crap, yeah, no, burn that or paint it over it. You are beautiful. Pepper spray, cop! This is not a tip. This is a gift and not subject to federal or state income taxes. <gasps> Can I do this? Is this a thing I can do? Can can I tip normally on the uh, on the receipt and then like add a gift? <gasps> oh my god! I'm a long-haired native who doesn't steal, so whenever I get followed in a store, I keep the employee on my tail for as long as possible to make it a little easier for people who need to steal to get what they need. I can't outright like condone stealing, but if if you are somebody who does, then. This is probably the best way to achieve your aims. I respect the, the intent. Our neighbor kindly came over to spread a grocery bag full of cigarette butts all over our porch today. Killer area. I live on the street. Opie is notorious for flicking their cig butts on the roadway sidewalk. This morning, after sweeping up the crap, oh, sorry, the sweeping up, the guy in the vid, blank, volunteered to dump them on his doorstep after a discussion a few of us neighbors had about the issue. <laughs> I love this. I love this so much. Okay, I think I assembled all of that correctly. I'm not actually sure about the rules of etiquette about this because both where I grew up and New York City, people just flicked cigarette butts onto the sidewalk. So if that's considered like serious littering, yeah, no, this is perfectly warranted. I, I would still like mention it to the neighbor. Just be like, hey, can you not do this at least once before? But I guess this gets a point across too. I remember picking them apart like at the bus stop and stuff and they just fell apart in my hands. So I, I thought they just like disintegrated because they're like paper. But I don't know. I don't know these things. Did you guys know there is a biker gang called Rescue Inc. that breaks up dog fighting rings, confronts animal abusers, confiscated confiscates neglected animals, and investigates stolen animals? Can can I can I run your like I don't know radio system or something? I can't drive a bike. But holy crap, I would be so a part of this. Ohio has stopped kicking workers off unemployment after a hacker targeted the state website used by employers to report employees who refused to report to work. The hacker submitted huge volumes of junk data, making it impossible to investigate workers. I work in IT, so I can't officially condone this, but any state that would have the gall to kick workers in need off of unemployment should probably be prepared for there to be some sort of response to that. That's just how society works. If you do a bad thing, another bad thing might happen. That's all I'm gonna say. If you have an LGBTQ phobic family member that merely tolerates you, take them aside and explain how you have seen the light and are trying to be cishet. There are classes, but they're expensive. Uh, you want it to be a surprise to the rest of the family, so you need 8,500 to be straight. <laughs> Yeah, I, I've noticed uh, one of the, the only ways to win with the Red Hat Brigade is is just to swindle them out of money because that seems to be what they're best for. If you steal a giant sign out of the hands of anti-abortion protesters, uh, they'll call 911 and follow you down the street instead of harassing other women. Ask me how I know. You, you magical mad lad. Thank you for making another clinic safe. Billy Joe Armstrong is like the definition of chaotic good. A prime example is th of this is... The fact that one time, at a Green Day concert, this guy in the pit was harassing a young girl, so Billy stopped the show to help her. However, his way of doing so was to jump into the audience, dropkick the guy directly in the face, and then fight him in a crowd of screaming fans. No, no, wait, 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 this is missing the best part. When he saw the guy, he tried to be like, dude, stop. And when the man didn't stop pushing the girl around, he screamed, fine, you wanna fight? I'll fracking fight you then, and leapt directly into the crowd. There's a reason Green Day was my favorite band in high school, and Billy Joe Armstrong is it. There's a reason Green Day is still in my top 10 bands. This is one of them. Andrew Murick, 
a storekeeper on a Minnesota Native American reservation, refused to sell to Indians and told them to eat grass if they were hungry. He was found dead on the first day of the Dakota War in 1862 with grass stuffed in his mouth and buttocks. <laughs> Get fracked 100. But, but he succeeded. Fake doctor arrested in Kenya after performing eight successful surgeries. That's magical and wonderful, and I'm glad you succeeded at eight surgeries, but I've also heard of tales of people going over there to just basically play doctor, so I... <laughs> when Nestle refused to watch a documentary about the exploitation of African children in the cocoa industry, the documentary's director, Miki Mastari, set up a giant screen next to Nestle's headquarters in Switzerland and played it there. Good job. My foster mother that sent me to the conversion therapy wanted to visit me today, and since she doesn't know how to work a GPS, she asked me for directions, and now a homegirl is on her way to Niagara Falls. If she drowns, free tacos for everyone. <laughs> Beautiful. A Commonwealth Bank. How about you service your fracking ATMs in Bunbury so punters like me will not have to tape fish to them so you have no choice but to come and fix them. I have more fish and tape and will power. Oh, I see. And willpower than your entire organization. Fix them now. You know, he's, he's a little wonky on the spelling and grammar, but he's got fish and tape. And honestly, I respect anyone who does. Uh, text on bag reads as. Text on bag reads as. This text has no other purpose than to terrify those who are afraid of the Arabic language. Why are people afraid of the Arabic language? It's pretty. I don't know it. I will probably never know it. I barely pass Spanish, but it's very pretty. UK chef Jamie Brooks lost 294 pounds, 133 kilograms in just 12 months after a friend texted him fat frack every time. <laughs> you know, sometimes you do need a little push. I have had to have my friends beat me over the head a little to get stuff done. Sometimes, sometimes you need it. Thief returns after stealing woman's car, yells at her for leaving four-year-old son alone in vehicle. Imagine getting lectured by a car thief and him being right. Question mark? Someone broke into my grandma's house while she was gone and shaved the matted fur off her cat. I want to emphasize that the cat was the only thing altered here. Would also like to add that this occurred sometime between 11 p.m. and 9 a.m. We have no leads. The cat's fine and probably appreciates not having a huge mat on its neck, but like, that's a really weird kind of vigilante justice still. Chaotic good. Mao's Tavern, loneliest man in the world speaking. Is it Mr. Handsome there? First initials, I am. I am handsome. Thank you, Bart. I really needed that today. Oh, I don't know if this is from an actual episode, but I, I really hope it is. My dad used to live in a really bad area growing up, surrounded by a lot of gangs, and uh, he told me that there was this kind, openly gay boy that used to tutor, tutor all the gang leaders for free. And one day, a homophobe insulted him, and five gangs found out and went to go beat him up. You are a bad guy, but this does not mean you are a bad guy. An old Italian gentleman lived alone in New Jersey. He wanted to plant his annual tomato garden, but it was very difficult work as the ground was hard. His only son, Vincent, who used to help him, was in prison. The old man wrote a letter to his son and described his predicament. Dear Vincent, I am feeling pretty sad because it looks like I won't be able to plant my tomato garden this year. I'm just getting too old to be digging up a garden plot. I know if you were here, my troubles would be over. I know you would be happy to dig the plot for me, like in the old days. Love, Papa. A few days later, he received a letter from his son. Dear Papa, don't dig up that garden. That's where the bodies are buried. Love, Vinny. At 4 a.m. the next morning, FBI agents and local police arrived and dug up the entire area without finding any bones. They apologized to the old man and left. That same day, the old man received another letter from his son. Dear Papa, go ahead and plant the tomatoes now. That's the best I could do under the circumstances. Love you, Vinny. <laughs> That's magical. I'm not sure it's real because I don't think they would have let the letter actually go through, but still magical. 